Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here. I've just been a little bit busy really trying to find a capture card which suits my show after one of my other capture cards had gone down. Right now I have a Time Leak HD 72A and a Dazzle DVC 90 and both work extraordinarily well. They work much better than I thought they would. Playing Beautiful Joe, I'm using the Dazzle DVC 90 and it actually looks pretty crisp and pretty sharp. It captures the cell shaded graphics well and it really works well for the games that I need it for. As for the HD Time Leak HD 72A, it's kind of hit or miss, but overall that works great as well. I will be posting up some PlayStation 3 footage. I know it's a little bit outside the comfort game of retro gaming. Maybe I'll do my Sega, the Sega Sonic Ultimate Mega Collection from the PlayStation 3 just to do a capture. Now, as you know, I discussed arcade gaming in the past and how arcade gaming just seemed to die down. Another genre which seems to have died down in the community, in the current community rather, is beat em up brawlers. As you can see, I'm playing Beautiful Joe, so yeah, I'm kind of missing the old school, old style beat em ups like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. You know, there was nothing like feeling like you took home the arcade experience by renting it or by having your parents buy it for you. That was one of the greatest beat em up games ever made. Another great beat em up was Double Dragon 3, also for the Nintendo. As it is, I got all three of the Double Dragon NES. Arcade ports, conversions, I'd rather just say that they're original works, and they really stand up well. They have responsive controls, their visuals are very sharp on the Wii U. I just love being able to play a beat em up. Alas, you know, I used to really enjoy playing these with my older brother, and that is part of what makes me miss that beat em up so much because now games are into campaign first person shooters which really don't offer that beat em up it's go from point A to point B and you have to be precise and with beat em ups you don't really have the headache or nausea inducing <sighs> styles that some of the first person shooters have with beat em ups your goal is simple. Your goal is simplistic. You are to go here. You are to go there. You are to kick butt along the way. That is all that you do in a beat em up story. Yeah, story's fine. Okay, yep, I can get this or that with points. Okay, yep, it's a mini shop. Yep, I got it. That's why I like Beautiful Joe so much. That's why I like playing the Double Dragon series so much. As it is, the beat-em-up genre has just seemed to fade away and evaporate. There are some titles which do take advantage of being retro fun, but you don't really see what is missing until you take a step back and see how the gaming landscape has changed. The campaign first-person shooters have overtaken beat-em-up games, and beat-em-up games have largely disappeared. You don't really see the attention to a beat-em-up as you would the campaign, the campaign beautiful footage or the picturesque first-person shooter environment. Is that what gaming really is all about? Well... Yes, it is what gaming is really all about. Beautiful, lush visuals and color. As for the beat-em-up genre, it just 
it seems to have passed away, but it also seems like something we will revisit much later. And if Beautiful Joe were ever revisited, it would be now to really take advantage of old school beat em up fans. You want to have a game like Beautiful Joe on your shelf. You want to have it to show off, and you also want to have it to play it. Because I don't care how many times I've started Beautiful Joe, you know, I treat it like an old-fashioned beat-em-up brawler. That means I just pick it up, I restart it. Yes, I do try to beat it in a day, but I know I won't. And that is half of the fun with beat-em-up games. That is why the genre needs to make a comeback. That is why it needs to come full circle. That is why... We just need to take a step back and see what has changed, what genres have disappeared currently. If you took an indie developer and studio that wanted to make a beat 'em up, what they'd have to look at is the bottom line. Would it sell as well as, say, something like Beautiful Joe or Double Dragon 3 on the NES? You have to take a look at it. You have to breathe in and out slowly. You have to find the target market and target demographic, and then you have to appeal to them. If you were to start a Kickstarter, you'd be looking at the same attention to detail in sales as you would be looking at if it were a major corporation like Capcom that wanted to take a roll of the dice and decide whether or not they wanted to kick, to kickstart internally, restart I should say, restart a franchise such as Beautiful Joe. Beat 'em up games should not just die out on a whimper. They shouldn't be made by crappy companies, and they should be used as the best sales asset that they can. Alright folks, rant, rave, love, hate, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button folks, please. You're keeping my show on the air. Have a good one.